Welcome to Save Back Field on the campus of Frontier Regional School. Chris Collins and Bobby C. Kevin Murphy here, Alec Deckel on the crew. As today, high school softball, about as good as it gets. Frontier Red Hawks and the Turners Falls Indians, two programs very familiar with one another, Bob. Two programs definitely on the upswing. Oh, there's no doubt about it, Chris. Matter of fact, I was just uh, looking at some of the stats on some of these uh, girls here, and some of these girls are playing really well right now. It was a tough one for Frontier earlier this week, Chris. They ended up losing their first game of the season. It was a tough 5-4 loss to Taconic. But other than that, they've been playing really good softball right now, and it seems like Olivia Dean has really been able to settle down in the circle as well. Starting lineups for the Turner's Falls Indians, Lexi Lacey leads off in left field. Taylor Murphy plays second base, bat second. Jay Tyler is pitching, batting third. Allison Murphy hitting cleanup and catching. Olivia Whittier, center field, bats fifth. Kelly Bogus bats sixth in right field. Caitlin Reynolds, first base, bats seventh. Juliana Rode, third base, bats eighth. And Cassie Wozniak is the shortstop, batting ninth for Gary Mullins the Turner's Falls Indians. Getting ready to step in is Lexi Lacey to face the Frontier Red Hawks and their pitcher, Olivia Dean. Ball one high as we're underway here at Frontier. Perfect day weather-wise for this. But on a miss, strike one, so the count is even at one and one. Seems like every time we do a game involving a girls' sport, Olivia Dean is in the lineup. So She's just a fantastic athlete. Strike two. So the count is now one and two on Lexi Lacey, the left fielder. You know, when you're sitting in an opportunity to be able to be in the circle, you want to be ahead of the batter, and right now, Olivia is. You want to change up. Strike three. Ball gets dropped on the first, and we have one. Nice job right there by Olivia Dean. A good way to start this one off, to be able to get the hottest hitter on this Turner's team, which is Lexi Lacey. So to be able to get her down on strikes, that's a good start for Olivia here in this one. Taylor Murphy is the second base person. She'll bat second here, and she's a lefty, so the shift will be on. It looks like the outfield's playing pretty much straight away here, Bob, so not really a shift. <laughs> no, they're uh, going to stick with that. And the one thing that we can say about Taylor Murphy is that she is an excellent spray hitter. She has really good spray hitting ability, so you'll notice that in this one, too. Ground ball, <laughs> snagged by the shortstop. And the throw is high and over the first baseman, and it's going to be... I think I'd call it a single, I would think. I'm calling that a base hit. There's no doubt about it, but what a nice play right there at the shortstop for Frontier. Very solid play right there. Almost went, too. Macy Ring did a good job just to even get a glove on that ball. So runner at first, and the batter is Jade Tyler, the pitcher. Ball on the dirt. Murphy leads off first base because she might think about trying to steal. Jay Tyler hits bombs. She really does. And right now, it looks like Olivia Dean is keeping the ball low to try and prevent that very thing from happening. No, they probably did a scouting report on her because she's been definitely a dominant hitter for the last few years. And she's also off to a pretty good start as a power hitter this year. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a great hit right there. Jay Tyler, nothing but power. And that was a two-run dinger. Two-run homer to the left, a no-doubter, and it's quickly two-zip in favor of the Turner's Falls Indians. Well, that one looked like Dean kind of hung that over the plate a little bit, and you can't do that, obviously. But it looked like an off-speed pitch. Well, that was a... One that definitely was in her wheelhouse, and she definitely crushed it. And that was popped out of the air, no problem at all. 
Well, this is the one thing about this team. This Turner's Falls team has kids that can hit. And right now, they're all starting to hit pretty well. You know, even Mully was saying even earlier that, you know, they're hitting the ball well right from top to bottom. And when you can have everybody all doing well at the plate, that's going to be able to surely help your pitching. And with Jay Tyler, one of the best pitchers in the area, that surely is a big help for this team. And that's why they've run-ruled everybody so far, except for that one loss they have earlier this year. And line drive caught by the second baseman. And that is two down. Nice play there. On a soft line drive by the second baseman, Michaela Santos. Well, a nice job right there by Olivia Dean to be able to tie her up inside. And honestly, Murphy wasn't able to get all of it. So two gone, the center fielder Olivia Whittier is the batter. First pitch swinging, foul down the left field line, out of play. Uh, Olivia Whittier, you know, she, she's been playing with this team since she was in seventh grade. I mean, she's been around a long time, and a lot of people say, man, is this kid ever going to leave? Well, it's because she started so young to be able to play on this varsity team. Wow, that was a nice pitch. Yeah, yeah, and a really smart move right there, honestly, by Whittier to not go after that because I don't think that would have gone anywhere. Hit ball on the string that time. 0 oh 2 to Whittier. And pitch in the dirt. If Dean gets a chance to waste one there, counts 1 and 2. And of course, this Turner's Falls team is always, it seems, in the conversation for state championships in this particular sport. Absolutely, and they got a lot of good talent that's back this year, too. So don't think that they're not going anywhere again this year. They'll definitely be making noise. Another one low in the dirt by Dean. Three balls and two strikes. Well, good discipline right there by Olivia Whittier, being able to hold off on those ones that are going in the dirt. But I think now if I was Olivia Dean, I'd go high and tight. And she goes low and inside, so count is now full after getting ahead 0-2. Three straight balls. And Murphy is, or Woody rather, has drawn the count full on Dean. That's, yeah, well, that's good discipline right there by Olivia Whittier. That's called good patience. And that's exactly what she had up at the plate. So Whittier is on with the base on balls. And the batter is Haley Bogus, the right fielder. You know, she's a hard hitting lefty. Um, she definitely has power herself. So if she does connect, it can go places as well. Strike on the outside corner by Dean, 0 and 1. It's a good spot right there. Uh, you know, she's normally a pull hitter, so if you can be able to do a outside pitch against Saley, you're probably doing yourself justice. Dean delivers. Low and outside. Dean will count it one. And the runner at first is Lydia. Pitch from Dean. Low. It's a count two and one. Yeah, and I'll tell you, <laughs> it didn't really matter much with that Jay Tyler home run, though. High and outside. So now it's three and one. Yeah, all of a sudden, she's thrown seven balls to one strike when she was up 0-2 against Olivia Whittier. So right now, Olivia's going to have to try to get herself together here. And she's taking all the way. All four, so second consecutive walk. Bogus is aboard, so Whittier goes to second, Bogus is the first, and the hitter is Caitlin Reynolds, the first baseman. Well, Katie Reynolds ended up having her first home run of her career uh, here just this past week, so she's got some power as well, Chris. Um, she gets a hold of one, she gets Lobos came wide open in the first inning. Absolutely. But I'll tell you what, though, what you got to do is you got to be able to get ahead of her, and you got to make sure that you can try to be able to get her to have to set back in the box. And right now, she's really up front, too. Swan and missed. One and one. Yeah. I think she was up in front of that one. Maybe. Yeah. Honestly, now, Chris, it's 0-2. Um, because, uh, yep, so, but, but yeah, because of foul ball. But it's all right. But I, uh, but I just say, if she can get ahead of her here, it's a good move. <laughs> Pop up down the left field side, out of play. Just out of the reach of the third baseman. So, that remains 0-2. Tell you right now, she's got a nice swing though, and if she could pop it, boy, it's going. Got two, got 
It's a good placement right there. I thought that would be a great place for someone to want to be able to chomp on it, and she did not chomp at the bit. That's a good job right there by Katie Reynolds. Foul pop, pop of the third base. Uh, that's still a good inning, though. That's what happening. Two runs on two hits, two left on. Go to the bottom of the first, there's two. Frontier nothing. Listening to watching Red Hawk Softball, Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. And we're back here for the bottom of the first inning where Turner's Falls ended up with a two-run homer from J Jay Tyler. She's now in the circle and up to lead it for Frontier is Natalie Dankowitz and she takes ball one. I'll tell you, this, this Tyler kid can really fling it. Yeah. Oh, Natalie is the center fielder. And in the dirt, all two. She's throwing definitely hard, but definitely a little out of control here so far for Jay Tyler. She's probably still jacked up over that two-run bomb she hit oh, in the that first. That was a bomb. Oh, that's a nice hit. That's going to... Oh, yeah, oh, we'll give that a base hit. That was a really hard bounce. There was no way that... Cassidy Wozniak was going to be able to get that one. Yeah, it looked like Wozniak got a little bit handcuffed. I don't think she expected to get that ball. That was something no. the third baseman you would usually pick off. Yeah, and it was right and between them both. Yep. And uh, that was a clean base hit right there to kick things off for Natalie Dunkowitz. Now up for the Red Hawks is their left fielder, Ariana Walker. And foul pitched. So one strike. Timing your swings is so important in softball, but especially when you have a fireballer on the mound like Tyler. Absolutely, and if you notice, a lot of these players, they play in too, so you've got to really be careful. That was close. They called that a little on the outside there, so one and one <laughs> on Ariana Walker. And there's strike two. Right at the letters. Yeah, that was one of those ones that's hard to hit, Chris. Yeah, that's a really good spaceman. I always tell that if you can get pitchers to be able to get that letters all the time, boy, it's tough. Plus, he painted that outside corner. Yeah, that was a really good pitch. And another one in the dirt, so. Got deuces. Two and two here on Ariana Walker. Run around first here for the Red Hawks with no outs. Tell them what off that one. A uh, little, uh, little off base there. Almost uh, was able to get Natalie Denkowitz. Nice throw right there by Murphy. But Ariana Walker does strike out. So that'll bring up 
Charlotte Doulette. She is the third baseman. She made a nice catch in the bottom of the first inning. And she bats third for the Red Hawks. Oh, that's a nice pitch right at the, right there at the knees. Yeah, tough, tough to turn that, that one around. Yeah, boy, it had some juice on it too as well. So a nice job right there by Jay Tyler. So one strike here on Charlotte Doulette. Oh, ah, here's two, yeah, same pitch twice. <laughs> they get that same placement twice, man. That's tough. Well, Tyler's not afraid to challenge. Doulette. No, this not a, at this all. It's a good matchup, too. No, and I'll tell you right now, Charlotte Doulette, she's going to have to really keep her eye on the corners, too. Oh, that could that could be tight. That might be gone. That's out of here. Home run, Charlotte Doulette. And this game is tied at two. Well, that's a fine how do you do. And, and then you get the train that comes by with the horns at the right time. Same spot, third in the lineup as the home run in the first inning by Turner's Falls, and suddenly we're tied at two. Ah, nice hit right there by Charlotte Doulette after being down by two. 0-2, oh she was able to make it happen. Hi, sweetie. All right, now you got your cleanup hitter. Macy Ring, the shortstop. Another one who's got some nice pop here for the Red Hawks. And fouled off here. One strike on Macy Ring. She made a beautiful stop on a play that she had in that first inning, but unfortunately she just wasn't able to get up in time to be able to get the runner. But boy, that was a really nice stop that she made earlier in the game. Oh, way ahead of that one. Yeah, she was way ahead of that one. That was a nice changeup right there by Jay Tyler. And now she's got her 0-2. Hey, hey, oh, that could be trouble. Oh, that was close. That was Good a... hustle, though, right there by Macy Ring. But a nice job right there at shortstop by Cassidy Wozniak. And boy, just got her by a half a step. Well, how about the stretch at yeah, first? Great job right there Katie Reynolds. by Katie Reynolds. And nice call by the ump, too. He was right all over it. So with that, there's two outs. And Lily Spencer, the DH. And that ball is low by Jay Tyler. So 1-0 and all here. It's a 2-2 ball game. We're in the bottom of the first inning here on the FCAT, Turners and Frontier Girls Softball. Oh, that's a good piece. And it's in the gap. And she's taken two. It could be a tough play. Stop. Oh, that's great that job. Her. What an awesome throw by Taylor Murphy. Beautiful throw to second base. And they had Lily Spencer no problem at second base. So, at the end of one, it's Turner's Falls 2, Frontier 2. You're listening to Girls Softball here on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the top of the second inning, and it's going to be Juliana Road, Cassie Wozniak, and Lexi Lacey, the three for Turners. You know, one of the things that was talked about, Chris, was that Mully was very happy with the way his bottom three hitters have been hitting so far this year, which has been a big help because it's given them an opportunity to get the top of the order to be able to knock in some good RBIs. So this is great. Ball one in the dirt to... Juliana Road, the third sacker for the Indians. Ground ball, 
Picked up on the third baseman, thrown to first and out. Wow, Good nice play. play. Yeah, that was a great play. Five to three. Nice job right there by Charlotte Doulette. You know, she comes off and she picks up a beautiful two-run homer and makes a beautiful play at third base. So a really nice start for her in this one tonight. One down. The batter is Cassie Wozniak. Short stop. Just inside, ball one. You know, Cass has been through a lot. She uh, had an injury that she had to sustain. She wasn't able to play hockey this year for the hockey team. And uh, she had a great career in field hockey. And, of course, this is one of her also great sports, too. High. Ball two. And she uh, has really been able to battle back to be able to do well with her health. And as you saw at shortstop, she makes some good plays. And uh, she can hit bombs, too. Soft line drive, caught at second base. That's a beautiful play right there at second base by Michaela Santos. And that's two gone, and the batter will be Lexi Lacey. Struck out first time up. Lacey plays left field for Turner's Falls. Strike on the inside corner. Got to give a lot of credit to Olivia Dean, Chris. She's really doing a nice job right now being able to settle down. You know, after that two-run bomb, she's really been able to do excellent on being able to settle down with this team. Fly ball, center field. And that's three. So, the first one, two, three inning of the game. No runs, no hits. Nobody left on. We go to the bottom of the second, tied at two. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. And we're back. It's the bottom of the second inning, and right now the Red Hawks were able to get a two-run homer, a really nice bomb by Charlotte Doulette to be able to tie it after Jay Tyler hit a two-run homer in the first of the uh, the top of the first inning, Chris. And now at the bottom of the second, after getting Turner's one, two, three, they're back at it, and they'll have Maddie Fifield, who is their first baseman, up at the plate and they're hoping that they can try to do some damage here in the bottom of the second. Oh, beautiful pitch right there by Jay Tyler. Nice placement too. Keeping it nice and low down by the knees and that's where she needs to be. When she starts to let it go up high, that's where she gets herself in trouble. And that one was right down the middle, but Fifield just missed it. it looked oh, like two. Tyler took a little bit off that one. Yeah. I think that I think Fifield was sitting on a fastball and got a change. Yeah. You know, and a change up to Jay Tyler looks like a fastball for some <laughs> other pitchers. Right. Good point. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, if you gotta waste it, you might as well waste it there. That one almost took out Mully. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So it reminds me of that scene in Bull Durham when he threw the, <laughs> the, the pitch at the bowl. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One and two here. Jay Tyler looking to try to take down Fightfield here. And up tie. Just, uh, just missed. That was a good pitch. Yeah, good spot right there. Right there by Tyler. Two and two. Fightfield's lucky that that wasn't th strike three. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good spot right there by Tyler. That could have gone either way. And that was low. All right, full count here on Fightfield. Tell you, Fightfield, a lot of patience laying off those low pitches. A lot of people would go after those. Yep. Go for balls, but she's not uh, not not offered. Oh, that was oh. a beautiful pitch, and it was a nice changeup as well. So strikeout right there by Jay Tyler. She does take down Maddie Fightfield. Now up for the Red Hawks is their right fielder, Olivia Vasilio. Olivia talking it over with the coach. I'll tell you right now, she's a phenomenal, phenomenal field hockey player, man. She has got all the tools. I wonder, wonder if she might lay one down here. You know what? This wouldn't be a bad opportunity right now, especially if she can do it on the right side. Well, she's got the Jets, certainly. Yeah, if she can get on the right side, though, make Reynolds have to come in. Oh, nice, nice swing. Cut on hard at that one. Ah, that was a good swing. So much for the bunt theory. <laughs> but a nice pitch right there by Jay Tyler, but a really good cut. 
by Olivia Vasilio. Oh, she did do it. <laughs> Whoa. Then it Gotta be careful. High. I get back to the bag, yep. Oh, I got a little bit of a... I noticed that Taylor Murphy, she's coming up gingerly here. She's gonna be okay, she's lost her shoe. I'll tell you, that was a great job getting that bunt down. That was a that was a fastball all the way, and she just great poise, good back control, just dropped it right down. Yeah, nice job right there by Olivia. All right, and Michaela Santos goes down on a hit to the pitcher. So that's two outs now here in the bottom of the second inning with a runner on first. And it'll bring up Olivia Dean, the pitcher. She is their ninth batter. So after her, it's back up to the top. That's a good spot right there. Strike one. Broniski, the catcher, is not batting for Frontier. Spencer is the DH, which is why Broniski will not bat. All right, and there you go. And a hit to the first, hit to the pitcher to first base, and there you have it. At the end of two, it's Turner's two and Frontier two. You're listening to Girls High School Softball here on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television. And we go to the top of the third inning, and it'll be two, three, four hitters for the Indians. Murphy, Jade Tyler. Actually, Murphy, Tyler, and Murphy. Yeah. So Murphy sandwiched there. Jade Tyler, of course, the big hit in that first inning with the two-run bomb that gave Turner's an initial 2 nothing lead. The score is now 2-2 two, two as we head into the third. And the way she hit that last bomb, we guess we could call her the double stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, why not, right? Because that was quite the bomb she hit in that first inning. Taylor Murphy, the second sacker for the Indians, had a single and scored on the aforementioned Jade Tyler two-run homer. Like I said, she does a really good job of spraying the ball, Chris, and she did that last time. She hit it over to the third baseman. That time she goes to dead center field, and it's over the center fielder's head. She can hit. Ooh, that's good throw. Murphy's heading for second, and she's going to get there with a double as the throw did not come through, so it's a double for yeah. Taylor Murphy to start the third inning. But I'll tell you right now, if Santos was able to hold on to that ball at second base, they probably could have had Taylor. Nice job right there. Good hustle by Taylor Murphy. So the batter is now Jade Tyler. Again, a two-run homer her first time up, looking to put some more points on the board to help her own cause. That's a good spot. Good spot. A little inside, though. Thing is, is Tyler's not going to take those inside pitches. She wants him up, up, but she wants him across the middle. She's right. not going to take it inside because that's just going to jam her. That one's a little high. And down to third. The throw. And she's safe. As oh, they called her out. They called her out. Initially, it looked like it was a safe call, but that was actually the third base coach. Yep. So she's cut down stealing. Yeah, he called her out stealing and said that she got him, that he got her on the arm. Gary Mullins came out to question it. You like the call. But Murphy has cut down stealing, so the bases are clean. And Tyler still at the plate. Nicely done by the catcher. Yeah, that was a nice throw and a nice play also by Charlotte Doulette. That one's low on inside. I think you're going to see Tyler probably walk here, Chris. That's not a bad spot for her to be. You know, to be able to walk her is okay. There's nobody on base. And she's going to walk. So Tyler's aboard on the base on balls. And the batter is catcher Allison Murphy. Well, rounded out one to four her first time up. Yeah, and you know, the one thing we can say about her is, is that she does a really nice job being able to hit the ball too. If she gets a piece of it, it's going places. Mercedes Morales is in as a courtesy runner for Tyler, the pitcher. So Morales tying up the shoe is 
We'll see if Morales decides to try and swipe one here. Just hit tied. Marissa Morales leads off. That's ball two. Well, Olivia's going to have to try to get herself back in front here. And the one thing that gets you in trouble is when you start letting up walks and you start getting behind hitters that can come back to usually bite you. That's right correct. Now she's got to get back on top here. Line drive, base hit to right field. And they try to cut down Morales to get her at second base. Wow, that's a nice job right there. A beautiful throw from the right fielder. That was a great play right there by Ariana Walker. So Morales is cut down on a fielder's choice. And the single, Murphy goes to first, and the batter is Olivia Whittier, who walked and made it to second base her first time up. The old fielder's choice out. Boy, you know, the problem with that one was, Chris, is she honestly hit that too good? Yeah. And you no, know, really, it was, it, was a, it was a shot. Yeah, there have been some hard hit balls today in this game. That was, a, I mean, a one hopper to the right fielder who gunned down Morales at second. Fly ball to left, and it's going to go. Oh, wow, a line drive home run. Oh, 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 what a shot by Olivia Whittier. Wow, that thing was just all the pitcher. Well, Seriously, she just put the bat out there. That fooled everybody, and that was, you're absolutely right, that was a <laughs> fastball. She just basically met the pitch. Yep, you know the old saying, meet and drive? Well, that's a <laughs> that's meet and drive. So two run homers, two different two run homers have made the score 4-2 in favor of the Indians. So playing a long ball here at uh, Zabeck Field. Yeah, and boy, that was something else, too, because all she did was literally stick her bat out, use the power of the pitcher on that play, and it was it was gone. Wow. I thought that would clip the fence. I didn't think it would make it over, but that was a frozen rope. Now the batter is Haley Bogus. Walked first time up, minutes to second. Strike inside. You know, like I said about Haley Bogus is that she's got a lot of power and she likes to pull it. And if she can pull it, she can pop it out of here too, just like anyone else. High outside, evens the count at one apiece. And that was a little bit of an off-speed teaser, and that's a strike, one and two. Well, right now you're ahead in the count, so Olivia's gonna have to just sort of settle down here, see if she can pick up the, f the next out here. Outside, even as a count at two apiece. Well, the good news is, is that when the Red Hawks get out of this inning, they do have their top of the order coming up, so hopefully they can be able to stop doing some damage themselves. And line drive, base hit, just out of the reach of the second baseman. That was and a nice hit. Haley Bogus is aboard with a single. Oh. And that's just good heads up right there by Haley Bogus. Throwing the ball around can get you in a lot of trouble. Well, that is a... A mistake that may come back to haunt Frontier if they can put another run across the board here. Well, you know that Katie Reynolds has some power, and like I said at the top of our broadcast, that she ended up hitting her first big homer earlier this week. Reynolds flat out to the third baseman, her first time up. So Bogus is at second, courtesy of the single and the throwing miscue. Reynolds pops it up out of play. Behind the backstop. Gary Mullins is always coaching. He is a great coach, and he's got everybody all locked in in this team. I'm telling you, you come and you play for Turners, you need to remember you're not playing for a team. You're playing for a program. Fly ball down the left field line in foul territory and caught for the out. But the Indians pick up two more runs, courtesy of the Whittier two-run homer at the end of... Two and a half. Turner's Falls 4, Frontier 2. 
This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. And we're back here at Zavik Field in a beautiful day here for softball. And we're sitting here at the bottom of the third inning and a nice two-run homer by Olivia Whittier has given the Turner's Falls Thunder a 4-2 lead here in the bottom of the third. And we can say that the top of the order is up for the Red Hawks and they'll be leading it off here with their center fielder, Natalie Dinkowitz. Dinkowitz singled and scored on the dual homer. Her first time up. Oh, nice pitch right there by Jade Tyler. So one strike on Denkowitz. Ah, nice routine play, and it's nice job right there by Cassidy Wozniak. Six to three, one out. Ariana Walker now steps into the batter's box. Ariana struck out in the first inning. And first pitch is low for ball one. Yeah, a little routine fly ball to Juliana Road at third base is caught. So two quick outs here for the Red Hawks. Nice job by Jay Tyler, really settling down in the circle here in the third inning. Well, we'll see if Tyler can shut the door on this Hawks offense. Well, the score that's up now, Charlotte Duet. Duet ended up hitting that big home run in the first inning to tie things up at two. Ball one. Charlotte really pounded that ball. A beautiful shot in that first inning to be able to tie up after being down 2 nothing on the Jay Tyler home run. Ah, oh, that's a nice pitch. Boy, that's a tough one to hit, too. That was right down low on the corner, and right at the knees. The Tyler's going to go right at her now. Gary Mullins wants to talk about something here. You know, the one thing that I love about Mully is that he never stops coaching, even if his team's up by 10 or 12 runs. It's a, it's a learning process for everybody. You know, and one thing that you have to remember in baseball or in softball is there's always a place to be. So just remember, if you're gonna miss an assignment, you better realize that you're gonna get talked to when you come in, Chris. Right. Because that's how Mully rolls. Well, he's definitely old school. I mean, oh, he's totally old school. But he, but he gets his kids every year to buy in. Oh, it's to amazing. A system. And it's amazing. And you know the old saying, that's all it is, you know? Getting everybody to be on the same page. Oh, nice caught. Foul tip. Ooh, that caught the catcher. Yeah, well, she's tough. Boy, that was a shot right off of her mask, too. Got to remember now, it's not a baseball. It's a big old softball, and it comes bouncing off your head like that. Yeah. You definitely can feel it. That's well, two strikes. And deuces are wild. Two and two. On Charlotte Doulette. Oh, nice piece again. Another nice hit by Charlotte Doulette. She takes the turn. And another nice hit right up the middle there by Charlotte Toulette. She's now two for two with a base hit and a home run. Well, they played that perfectly. They had the shift on, and it just was just to the left side, or the right side, rather, of second base. But they weren't set up for it. They just couldn't quite make the play. Well, their cleanup hitter, Macy Ring, shortstop, is now up. Last time she was up, it was a hit from the shortstop to first for the out. And we got two outs here in the bottom of the third. Ball one. A little low on that one. Oh, 
Uh, great play right there by Cassidy Wozniak at shortstop. And she makes the final out. So, after three, it is the Turner's Falls Thunder four and the Frontier Red Hawks two. You're listening to Frontier Community Access Television. It's the FCAT Girls Softball Frontier and Turners. And we're back. It's the top of the fourth inning here. Really good game between the Turner's Falls Thunder and the Red Hawks here of Frontier, where it is four to two. Leading off here in the top of the fourth is Juliana Road. Juliana ended up making it out in the second inning where she ended up hitting the ball to the third baseman. And she crushes it right up the middle. Beautiful base hit by Juliana Road to get things started here in the top of the fourth. First pitch swing all the way. And Road just hit a blast to center field. So bats are starting to heat up for the Indians. Well, Cassidy Wozniak, she ended up hitting the ball to the second baseman to make it out in that second inning. And a pass ball, and that's gonna be an easy one for Road. She takes the turn at second. So that one got by Skylar Beniski. And Cassidy Wozniak, the ninth hitter. Like I was telling you earlier in the broadcast, she went through some injuries and she's getting back on track. Let's see who's showing bunt there. Yeah, that was a good pitch right there too by Olivia Dean. One thing you don't want to do, you want to minimize your mistakes against Turner's Falls because they will make you pay for it. They sure will. You know, anything that they can do to be able to get extra runners, they'll take it. You know, I always say the old saying that you don't want to give extra teams that are good extra outs. Right. It's like when we play basketball and you end up giving somebody extra rebounds and you're giving them extra opportunities, it usually comes back to get you. And that was low. You certainly don't want to do that against the defending state champion. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And uh, I got to tell you, Mullins has a lot of coats, man. He must be able to rotate them. <laughs> he just rotate a different wardrobe every game. Ah, it's a good pitch, and it was just up high. So Wozniak does walk. So now you got runners at first and second, and no outs here in the top of the fourth. So maybe you want to bring that infield in here if you're the Frontier Red Hawks. Try to make that play at third if you can and get that lead runner. And they're going to stay back with Olivia Whittier, who, <laughs> or Lexi Lacey, on, honestly, is back up. This is a bit of a tough strike zone for Dean because yeah. Lacey's not a, not a tall kid. No, she's not, but she honestly has uh, been hitting very well for them, and she's always two for two on this one. She ended up striking out in the first and ended up flying out the center field, and that was an inside pitch. Oh, that might get by. Oh, they could have maybe got a triple play on that I was, one. I was just thinking they, the same if, thing. If Santos took a first at, look at first base, Santos could have had a triple play. But they pick up the two. She wasn't looking at first base and seeing Wozniak was halfway down. And they end up with a double play. That's a big double play for Frontier. Absolutely. They're on the way to having some serious problems, but now one one runner on and two outs. And there it is. Taylor Murphy flies out to the third baseman, Charlotte Doulette. Went after that first pitch, too. And there it is. At the end of three and a half innings of play, it's Turner's Falls four and Frontier two. You're listening to Frontier Community Access Television. It's girls softball here on the FCAT. And we're here at the bottom of the third inning here at Zabeck Field. Good softball game so far here today between the Turner's Falls Thunder and the Lady Red Hawks. We've got a 4-2 game here and a big opportunity right now for Frontier to hopefully capitalize on some runs. But Jay Tyler has really settled down in the circle. He's done a really nice job ever since that big two-run homer from Charlotte Doulette in the first inning. She's been able to take him down, no problem. And leading off for the Red Hawks is their DH, Lily Spencer. And the ball's high. So one and all here. Spencer is ahead in the count. And 
And that's fouled out of play. One and one. a little low, but they called it. So one ball, two strikes. That was at the bottom of the kneecaps. That sure was, and that was definitely low. But they called it. That could be trouble. And a nice play right there by Taylor Murphy, who does such a nice job. She is really one of the superstars of this Turner's Falls team. And with that, we got one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Now up for the Red Hawks is their first baseman, Maddie Fifield. Fifield struck out looking last time up. Yes, she did. When you get the old upside down K, that's the key. A little outside there by Jay Tyler. I have to ask you, Chris, is that Ben Barshevsky over at third base? I don't know. God, I no, it's not. Okay. Oh, way ahead of that one. Well, that was good. That was a good job on the change there by Jane Tyler. Oh, she, almost, she almost fell out of her shoes. Yeah, that was, a, that was a nasty pitch. That was a great pitch right there by Jay Tyler. Really had Fightfield really fooled on that one. And then outside. Ooh, two balls and one strike. Turner's catcher did her best to try and frame that pitch, but yeah, it wasn't biting in that one. Allie, Allie Murphy does a nice job behind the plate. You know, last year was her first year she ever caught, caught ever. Really? Yeah, she's done a great job. And there's two and two. She evens it up here. Again, that was another one of those hooks. Yeah, and Fightfield's having a really hard time being able to find them, and hopefully she can get her bat out on this one. Tyler's definitely looking good here. That was high. Oof. So they're full. Got a full count here on you. Fightfield's going to have to protect. Now one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Turner's with the 4-2 lead over Frontier. And she walks. Surprising. She yeah. really looked like she had her. And now batting for the Red Hawks is their right fielder who made a beautiful play from right field to second base to be able to get a force out. Here's Olivia Basilio who ended up with a base hit in the second inning. And that first pitch by Tyler is high. Ball one. Got a runner on first here. Bottom of the fourth inning. Just one out. Oh, that was a perfect pitch right inside. That was a tough one to get there. That would have been really tough to swing at. So one ball and one strike. Oh, that's a great Good bunt. Fun. Nice play right there. Oh, wait a minute. They called her safe. She dropped the ball. Oh, gee. Well, they're going to start throwing the ball around. And Taylor Murphy got hurt on that one. Tell you, that was a fantastic bunt. That was just, yeah. uh, that ball just dropped in yeah. front of the plate. Uh, nice play right there by Allie Murphy. Her sister couldn't hold on to it. So we got runners on first and second with one out. And we're going to give that one an E, E4. Runner coming in for Frontier. This is uh, Chloe Cutter. It's going to replace Fightfield at second base. Got a big inning here. Absolutely. So things are looking pretty good here. Right now, the Red Hawks are threatening. They're down two here in the bottom of the fourth inning with one out. Runners on first and second. 
And up to the plate is Michaela Santos. And she hit the ball and it was a um, play made by Juliana Road and she ends up tagging third, picks up the fourth out, so two outs. Runners now on first and second. Well, you got the lead runner, that's the important thing. Yeah. So fielder's choice out. <laughs> Well, right now, Olivia Dean, hopefully to get it done. Ninth batter here in the order. Nice pitch right there by Jay Tyler. So you got pitcher versus pitcher. Big spot for Olivia Dean. Hopefully she can help her cause. Olivia grounded out to the pitcher her last time up. Yeah, she's definitely looking at trying to be able to help her cause here. Oh, that was a beautiful pitch, man. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's that almost, was nasty. It's almost... <laughs> That was unfair. Good. That was really sweet. Now it's a beautiful pitch. All right, now she's all in the hole, 0 and 2 here. So you got two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. <laughs> she could have scored. She's gonna try for it. She is. She's gonna make it. She oh, oh and we got some. Oh, I think Allie Murphy's hurt. Wow. Well, Murphy is down. Oh, she's down. It, oh. it looked like she got collided. Like, it was, it looked a, like it was a collision. Right into her. Exactly. Absolutely. It looked like her shoulder got wrenched. Oh, it did. That's what she's holding is her left arm. Oh, man. Her catching hand. Oh, man. Oh, she's trying to get up. She's tough. That's she a tough is kid. one tough kid. I think. Wow. Yeah, she's walking it off. Well, unfortunately, with the throwing error, it ended up scoring both those runs. It did look like a great deal of contact, but it just it was enough. Yeah. I think she caught it, on her, like I said, on her catching arm, it looked like. Well, with that, two runs do score, and we're now sitting back to a 4-4 tie here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And Allie Murphy is one tough kid, let me tell you. She is a really strong girl, and definitely. Look at checking to see if she has a bloody nose. Yeah, Ooh. she got slid right into Chris. Yeah, there's that's a lot exactly of what happened. There. there was a lot of contact there, and of course, it was a play at the plate too. You know, so. She's gonna stay in there. It looks like. Yeah. But that's a big turn of events for Frontier. Yeah, Frontier picking up those two runs that they ended up losing back in the last inning. So now we're sitting at a 4-4 tie with two outs and Olivia Dean is still uh, <coughs> is still at the plate here. That throwing error definitely uh, caused them two runs. Oh, nice cut right there by Olivia Dean. She goes out of play. So she's hanging tight. So once again, we're here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Turner's two, Frontier two. You got two outs. Olivia Dean, the pitcher, at the plate. And that could roll fair, and it didn't. Cool. You got to be careful. You got to run that out. You know, if you're the hitter, you got to run that out. A little bit of cue shot there. Yeah, you never know. It can always turn back. So, Olivia Dean. And Haley Bogus is under it, makes the catch. And we've completed four. After four innings of play, it's Turner's Falls four, Frontier four. You're listening to Girls Softball here on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television. It's good. Go. We're in the top of the fifth inning here at Zabeck Field. Turner's Falls four, Frontier four. The number three batter for Turner's Falls who hit a two-run homer in the first inning, Jay Tyler, also their pitcher, is up to plate. We'll say that end up having a throwing error that caused two runs to score in 
in that last inning. Couple of unearned runs for Frontier, but they're back in it now. And the first pitch by Olivia Dean is high for ball one. And the second pitch is hit out of. Definitely went out of bounds here, so now we're looking at one and one. Inside pitch for ball two. Didn't miss by much though. Well, two balls and one strike to Jay Tyler, who ended up walking in the third inning after that home run in the first. In 31, they didn't give it to her. <laughs> yeah, she didn't get it. So, <laughs> close one there by Jay Tyler. She thought it was a little high and... Olivia's she, not happy. No. no. She's figuring I got that right in there. Was hoping to get that call. And ball four. So, Jay Tyler's on again and most likely is going to get a courtesy runner. Morales is probably going to come in. She usually gets courtesy runner being the pitcher, and she did. So Mercedes will come back and run again for Jade here in the top of the fifth. So we have no outs with a runner on first, and now batting is Allie Murphy, who took a tough hit there behind the plate, but she's tough, man. Ended up with uh, a 4-3 in the first inning on an out, and a fielder's choice out in the third inning. So she's looking to try to get a piece here. And ball one by Olivia Dean. She's taking her time here, trying to reel it in. And the hit to right field is up. And a nice play right there by Olivia Vasilio. She picks up the out. So one down here in the top of the fifth inning. Runner on first, and now batting is Olivia Whittier. We ended up hitting a home run in the third inning, a shot that was really all about the pitcher with her pitch meeting the ball. And it went places. <laughs> it How about over the fence <laughs> for a big two-run homer? And it, was, it was a straight line drive. It there really was, was. Nothing ambiguous about that, although I, thought, I really thought it clipped the wall, but nope. Just cleared it. And ball two, and Olivia Dean's a little bit frustrated over there in the circle. She's not getting the calls. I don't yeah. Think. And she's, and that's she's, the second time she's walked to the back of the circle. Yeah, and she's looking at her coach saying, I don't, you know, it's in there. There's a strike. That one she got. All right, so Olivia Whittier is in the hole here. One ball and two strikes with one out here in the top of the fifth. Ah, nice head right there by Olivia Whittier. That's what you call making contact. And she ends up with another nice hit and picks up a base hit. So now you got runners on first and second with one out here in the top of the fifth. Haley Bogus, who ended up walking in the first inning, had a base hit in the third, is now batting for the Thunder. A little rally here for Turners. Hit. And that got through. And they're going to send Morales. There's a throw to the plate. And she's safe. Well, Morales. Nice job right there. Yeah. Not going to stop. She was going for it. And that was a, not a bad throw, but she got underneath and beat it. Yeah. And a nice job right there by Haley Bogus to be able to pick up that nice RBI. So now you're sitting with runners on second and third. You got one out here in the top of the fifth. So the Thunder have been able to get back ahead in this one. You know, I want to bring the infield in a bit. Make sure you look the runners back if you get a ground ball. You know, and you want to try to limit the damage as much as possible. I guess the big thing you really want to shoot for is with Katie Reynolds, who already has flew out 
to the third baseman and also flew out to left field, then you know that she's been hitting to that side that maybe you need to be able to play, you know, a little bit. A little bit of shift maybe? Yeah, yeah, just shift a little bit. Yep. That's what I would do anyway. But it looks like we got a pitching change. It does. Yep, so we Dean, do. Dean moves to shortstop. So if Dean moves to shortstop, does that mean Frank goes into pitch? All right, here we go. And Olivia Stafford is now in the ring. A little pitch and change here. She threw a little heat there to pick up strike one. Gets Katie Reynolds. Once again, Katie ended up flying out to the third baseman and also to the left fielder here today. And that goes out of play. So Stafford is ahead here. Runners on second and third with one out here in the top of the fifth. Turner's Falls has already played in one here in the inning and they're leading now 5-4. Oh, that could have. <laughs> but almost like, like an Ephus. Yeah. An Ephus changeup. Yep, she was trying to see if she could slow it down and I think it got stuck in her hand. That might drop. It's going to drop. It is, yep, because they made the switch. And Katie ends up with a base hit, and that scores another run for the Thunder. Well, I think what cost them on that one was the shift. Yep. They made the shift, and Katie was able to get it out of the way. So there is a uh, runner here, a pinch runner. That's for, Eliza Johnson. Yeah, and she is quick. So Eliza will be pinch hitting for Reynolds. Juliana Road, who had a beautiful base hit. Her last at bat ends up here at the plate here in the top of the fifth. Still only one out. You really want to not uh, have a pass ball here. You don't want to give that next run up to anything cheap. Make him no. earn it. And Stafford, you know, she came in under a little bit of a tough, uh, tough situation, but she's going to have to get herself out of it. That's a nice good pitch. pitch. Real good pitch. And Eliza Johnson gets down to second base. So now you got two runners that are in scoring position here for Turner's Falls with runners on second and third. Once again, only one out. Nice stop right there by Skylar Baniski. Still a little low. Road stays ahead in the count here. And that's out of play. Out of it a little bit. Well, it's a big spot right here. For Stafford. Oh, nice hit right there by Rowe. She crushed that one. That's going to score two. And a beautiful hit right there. A nice double by Juliana Road. And a couple of ribs to go with it. And the Thunder starting to break this open a little bit. And Cassidy Wozniak, who walked her last time and also hit to the second baseman for the out in the second inning, is now up with only one out. And that's a pass ball. It's going to give Road third base. Yeah. Boy, Juliana Road. Nice job. She's already got a single and a double, and now she's at third base. Still only one out. Her and mom, Steph Marissa, is here. That's oh, yeah. Make her happy. She don't miss any games. She's quite the dedicated mom, as we say. But what mom isn't? Come on. Most moms are pretty dedicated. <laughs> uh huh? And Wozniak pops out to Olivia Dean. And that brings up two outs here in the top of the fifth. Back to the top of the order. 
and Lexi Lacey, who is 0 for 3 so far here on the day. She struck out in the first, flew out to center in the second inning, and also she made an out to the shortstop in the fourth inning, and that first pitch by Stafford in the dirt for ball one to Lexi Lacey with Juliana Rhodes sitting here at third base with the Thunder leading. Megan. And another ball. And that ball's up in the air. It looks like it's back to Dean again. She makes the catch. All right. Well, the Thunder picked up four runs on that one. So after four and a half innings of play, it's the Turner's Falls Thunder 8 and Frontier 4. You're listening to Girls Softball and you're viewing as well here on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television. All right, we're back here at Zabeck Field. It is the bottom of the fifth inning and we can tell you that they're gonna need some help here. The Frontier Red Hawks are down 8-4. They just let up four runs in that last half inning. So Jay Tyler is still in pitching, but it is the top of the order, leading it off here for Frontier. And Natalie Denkowitz, who ended up with a base hit in the first inning, and she ended up grounding out to the shortstop in the third, will now lead it off here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And strike one by Jay Tyler. Tell you, Jade's really done a nice job being able to get out of some pinches. Really what helped Frontier in that last inning was the errors that were thrown around. And that was a nice pitch. So she's up two here now. It's 0-2 on Natalie Denkowitz. Nat's gonna have to put the ball out. And the bat out a little bit here and just try to get ahead. Tyler wouldn't surprise me if she tried to throw that change up right now. Ooh, she threw the heat, and it was fouled off. And they got her. That was an awesome that pitch. That was a really good pitch right there, and she went looking, so. It just froze her completely. You know that you know that the pitch is good, but someone doesn't even try. You know, so far Jay Tyler's only had three strike strikeouts here on the day. Hasn't been a lot, but that was a big one right there here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Now batting, Ariana Walker ended up with a strikeout in the first inning, and she also flew out to the third baseman to Juliana Road in the third. And they're looking to get some base runners. Try to get back into this one here against the Thunder, down by four. And ball low. Two balls, no strikes here on Ariana Walker. Tyler trying to reach back here. And a fair ball and she is out. Nice play right there by Katie Reynolds. So you got two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And Charlotte Doulette, she has been hot. Home run in the first inning, also had a single in the third. Looking to try to do some more damage here in this one. She's definitely had Jay Tyler's number so far here in this one. Wendy's starting to pick up a bit. Ah, oh, it's a nice pitch right there by Jay Tyler. Has been an odd spring, a lot of rain outs this year. Yeah, but boy, I'll tell you, when you put that camera out there on that field, it is green. You got That's some beautiful. Lush green grass for sure. Well, a little in the dirt there, so brings up a one and one count here on Charlotte Doulette. And again, I think uh, catcher shaking up for Turner's. Oh yeah, she's she's she got her. pounding today. She sure has. And her sister, uh, Taylor, at second base also has had a 
couple of beatings too. Nice right oh, that's a nice shot right there, but a nice play by Wozniak. And a stretch by Reynolds, and she missed the ball. Because well, she had her beat. Yeah. Don't drop that ball and you got it out. Yeah, well, that was going to be an error on the first baseman, but still nice job right there by Charlotte Dulac in a really nice play also at shortstop by Cassidy Wozniak. Yeah, that was deep in the hole and Wozniak picked it nicely and got the throw there, just couldn't get the squeeze well, at first. There's another error by the Thunder. Frontier hoping to take advantage of that with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And it's coming our way. Don't hit my camera, please. <laughs> and that's out of play for strike one. I thought the Ekman was going to go underneath it, make the play. I fully totally expect he Alec Ekman to lay out. He did not get under the and ball. Save the camera in a yeah. situation like that. <laughs> and two strikes now on Macy Ring. Macy ended up both times. Hitting to the shortstop for outs. Back in the first inning and the third inning, hoping for a better result here in the fifth. That's high. Really nice job. Tyler's still ahead in the count here against Macy Ring. But you got two outs, so Charlotte Duet's got to be very aggressive coming off that first base. Oh, wow. Oh. Boy, that looked good from here, didn't it? Turner's faithful did not like the call. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot of oohs and ahs over here. Oh, yeah. But it's pretty amazing how we can all see from the side here. Oh, and it oh, got by. Oh, and it got by. Reynolds, who ended up moving with the runner. So, base hit by Macy Ring. She was able to get it over the first baseman, who was just doing a move to get out of the way of the runner. Not much you could do on that one. That's a tough break. That was, no, one, that that was nothing you could totally do on that That one. was a line drive with eyes. Exactly. And she just moved yeah. the wrong way. And it wasn't Literally. because... <laughs> no. If, if she's playing back or she's playing is, the, isn't holding the runner on, she makes that kick. Exactly. Yeah. All right, up to play. Up to the plate is Lily Spencer. Ended up with a base hit, the DH here in the first inning, and ended up making it out to the second baseman in the fourth inning. And way ahead of that yeah, one. She was yeah. out in front on that. Yeah, totally out in front. But right now, Frontier is threatening with runners on first and second here with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And they're counting on Lily Spencer. <laughs> Apparently Spencer has some fans in the audience. Yeah. Well, that's what I love about softball. They make a lot of noise. That was a beautiful pitch right there by Tyler. So now, if you're Lily Spencer, you got to get on top of the ball here. It's just making sure that you stay up on top when you're taking your swing. And she just fouls it off. Just got a piece of that one. A nice pitch right there by Jay Tyler, though. But it was definitely ticked off there by Lily Spencer. And that one's high. Oh, here we go. Big spot right here for Lily Spencer and a very Nah, good game here. Eight four, but four runs in the last inning by the Thunder to pull ahead here. And Tyler comes up with a big strikeout to be able to end the fifth inning, leaving two stranded for the Red Hawks. So after five innings of play, it's the Turner's Falls Thunder eight and the Frontier Red Hawks four. You're tuned in, Frontier Community Access Television. It's the FCAT. It's girls high school softball. Sitting here at Zabeck Field, a girls high school matchup between the Turner's Falls Thunder and the Frontier Red Hawks. And leading off the top of the sixth inning for Turner's Falls is the second baseman, Taylor Murphy. And Stafford is still in the ring. She's in the big circle. 
and looking to hopefully be able to get back in the dugout to be able to get some offense as they are now down four. And Murphy ended up doing well with a base hit and a double so far in this one. Just bounce that one. Yep. Here's ball one to Taylor Murphy. She's a very good hitter. She's honestly a really good spray hitter is what she is. And I always say spray hitters are tough to be able to, you just gotta play your, your position. And that was outside. So Stafford is now in the hole here. Two balls and no strikes for Taylor Murphy. And there's strike one. Good pitch. Yep, one ball and two strikes. So Stafford's able to pick up a strike here on that one. Got a lot of Olivia's playing here today. <laughs> oh, that, that, oh, just was able to get that for Disky. That almost was. A clean base hit. Yeah, she she was down down the line <laughs> yeah, fast. That almost that almost was. That just got back out of foul territory there yeah, to be no. able to be snagged by okay. Skyler Perniski. I thought you were gonna stay longer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's how long I was staying, so <coughs> Okay. Well, big spot right. right here for Stafford. Hopefully she can be able to Thank see you. if she can knock down one of the top hitters on this Turner's team, especially today with two hits. And Murphy ends up hitting it to second base. No, he's safe. And San Santos didn't throw the ball. Now she's a little, little bit lackadaisical, yeah, but get credit to the yeah. speed of Murphy. I mean, nice coming, out of that right left, there. coming out of that left uh, batter's box, Sam, she tore down that line. Yeah. That was more about her speed than it was about the lack of throw. Nice job right there by Taylor Murphy. You know the old it. saying, run, run, run. And you run through the bag, and that's exactly huh? what Taylor Murphy did to pick up so the infield it. base hit. And that's going to make it up the middle. And the good hustle of Murphy makes it no problem. Beautiful hit by Jay Tyler. She continues her hot yeah. play here today. She's been on every time. That was a nice piece of hitting because that yeah. was clearly a changeup, and she waited on it just enough and banged it up the middle. So two runners at first and second, nobody out. And now, looks like they're going to put a jacket on her. Yeah, and they're going to guess, guess Jay's going to run. Wonder if they're uh, thinking about putting somebody else in the circle. Well, if they give her a jacket, they want to give her maybe they want to get her keep yeah, arm warm. Yeah, I would yeah think, maybe they want to give her some extra running time too. You know, it's all right. Watch out for Allie Murphy though. Allie Murphy can hit too. All of a sudden, two big hits. You better watch out for Murphy. I'll tell you, Taylor Murphy's quick. She'll take third if you let her. A dinger here would blow this oh, thing wide open. Absolutely. This would definitely really open things up for the Thunder if they end up letting up, even even if they let up a double and they end up scoring two more ribs, that's going to be a big, big hole for them to get out of. That could be trouble. Nice play right there by Olivia Dean. She makes the play. So a fly out for Allie Murphy who hasn't had a hit here today. And Olivia Whittier, well, home run and a single for her. She hit one last time down the third base line. She hits it toward that way this time. Well, you never know what could happen on that one, especially if Tulek can be able to snag it, tag third. And there's an opportunity for maybe getting a double play. Like right now. Oh, it's just on the way off the. Oh, Olivia Whittier just got enough of that one, Chris. Yeah, that one was that was a really tough placement on that. It was she just wow. caught it off the end of the bat, and it's it sort of caromed almost up that third base line. It forced the third baseman to come over and try to pick it off. Yeah, now they got bases jacked, and uh, Haley Bogus, yeah. who's hit the ball pretty well today. How about two singles. Two hits so far for Haley Bogus. She's also got an RBI. She's looking to be able to add to her stats here today. And that's outside for ball one from Stafford. And you really gotta keep that infield in. You're down by four. You don't wanna let up any more runs here if you're Frontier. What you don't want to give up here is a pass ball or a wild pitch. 
Absolutely. Keep that ball in front of the catcher if at all well, possible. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Skylar Maniski's done a really nice job behind the plate for Frontier here today so far. Yeah, she's a solid ball player. Absolutely. But uh, right now, you, you don't want any more runs to cross that plate if you're Frontier. You don't want to give Turners any more ammunition than they already have gotten with eight runs here in this one. So you're looking at hopefully to be able to get her on this play here. Ah, that's all right. Haley Bogus, just remember, you know, when you're up to plate with bases loaded, it's just as good to get a walk as it is to get a base hit because it will score a run, and it's called good discipline at the plate. There's a strike right there by Stafford. All right, well, Haley Bogus, big spot for her. And that, 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 that could be trouble. No nope. nope. foul ball. Ah, foul ball. <laughs> Ariana Walker had no chance of getting that one. She gave it a good shot, she, shot though. She's quick, man. A guard for their, point guard for their basketball team. Really quick on her feet. In their senior year. Yeah, and Stafford. She's got a chance to get bogus here if she could throw a strike. And Haley fouls it off. Staying alive here in this one with bases loaded. And she fought that one off. She was way ahead of that pitch, but she was yep. able to get enough, just enough of it to foul it off. Yep. And we're sitting here with bases loaded with one out here in the top of the sixth inning with the Thunder up 8-4 here at Zabeck Field. It's starting to get a little cold. Yeah. Good job. Oh, that was a good at bat right there by Haley Bogus. That's something a coach likes right there. When you can be able to have the discipline to be able to be patient like that, that's good, good technique right there by Haley Bogus. I think 9 out of 10 high school players would have swung at that pitch. And just remember, that walk is also considered an RBI. That's so right. That's just good stuff right there by Haley Bogus. Still bases loaded. And we have Mercedes Morales. And she's up in a big spot here with one out here in the top of the sixth inning with bases loaded. And she fouls the first one out of play. Oh. Cop the top of the dugout. Yeah. Better than my windshield. Yeah, that's what it sounds like when I sit in the chair. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, so Mercedes is. Hopefully, someone's going to retrieve that ball. Yeah, they got it. Why are we running out? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I bet you Mully's got a thousand balls. I would think. He's got more buckets in his garage than we ever thought we could have. That's a good play right there by Skylar Berniski. That was great to be able to stand there and be able to get your whole body in front of that. You don't want to let up that run. Yeah, that's one of the I don't tougher. think they would send Jay Tyler, though, anyway. You know, you don't want to put your pitcher in a position like that. Right. But still, that was still a nice job. Well, that was a five-run lead. And oh, the absolutely. Bases jacked. No way. So, well, Stafford's going to have to find a way here to get Morales. And it's up in the air. That stays fair. It's in foul territory. And we got two outs. Hey, if they can get this third out, they're going to get out of a major jam. They got yeah. still got a shot. But I'll this. tell you what, though. Juliana Rose has been hitting the ball really hard. Yeah. Ended up with a nice double that she had last inning. She also had a single the inning before. She's two for three here on the day. And in a very big spot, she could really open this up right here for the Thunder. Nice pitch right there by Stafford to get ahead here with two outs in the top of the sixth inning. Stafford's mixed her pitches up well. He's using the off-speed stuff pretty well to, tonight Yeah. in the relief. And Rode looking to do some damage. And that's going to... Well, I guess. Olivia Dean. Nope. And that'll do it. 
So they end up picking up another run here in the top of the sixth inning. So after five and a half innings of play here at Zabeck Field, it's the Turner's Falls Thunder 9 and the Frontier Lady Red Hawks 4. You're listening to Girls High School Softball here on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television. All right, we're back here. It is the bottom of the sixth inning. Frontier is down nine to four, and they need some base runners. Maddie Fightfield will lead things off. She ended up with a walk her last time up. They need to get some base runners if they want to be able to get back into this one here against the Turner's Falls Thunder, who ended up picking up yet another run here in the top of the frame to take the 9-4 lead. Jay Tyler delivers her first pitch. It's low for ball one. Looking for some base runners is what the Red Hawks are looking for here. Oh, that was a sweet pitch. Matter of fact, Fightfield was way behind that one. And a nice pitch right there by Tyler. That was solid, Chris. Right on the outside corner. Yeah. Had a little had a little juice on it, too. Seems like Tyler has picked up velocity as the game has gone on. Yes. And she's locating her pitches much better. Yeah, that's another nice pitch right there Case by point. Tyler. Yeah. You know, that's her third strikeout here in the last couple of innings. And all three of them, Chris, were frontier ladies looking. So, Livia Vasilio now comes up to the plate. She ended up with a base hit in the second, and she also got on reaching on an error back in the fourth inning. And that first pitch by Jade is in the dirt for ball one. Ball two, a little low. So Vasilio is now ahead in the count here, two and oh. One out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Five more outs and that'll do it. Low. Yeah, she wanted that one, that was a good spot, boy. Well placed. Wow, that thing was low, right at the knees. Nice job right there by Jade Tyler, so. Two balls and one strike here on Olivia Vasilio. And strike two, that was right down the chute. That's one that Vasilio should have been all over. Yeah, that's that was a piper. Yeah. Right down the middle. Well, don't be surprised, she throws all kinds of stuff. She could throw you a little change up here and surprise you. Oh, that baby had a little heat. Foul ball. Tyler still staying ahead here against Facilio. And strike three. Yeah, she was way behind. That was just yeah. pure heat right there. It sure was. Yeah, that's the second strikeout in a row here. Honestly, going back to the last inning, that's three that she has retired by strikeouts, Jay Tyler. And Michaela Santos, second baseman, ended up making an out to the first baseman and also got on on a fielder's choice back in the fourth. Jay Tyler is now ahead of the count here at one strike. Allie Murphy came out to talk with her quick. Maybe she saw something. It's one thing about when you catch a game and you've already had someone get up two or three different times in the game that you can be able to sort of read stuff. Nice job right there by Murphy. She saw something. And strike two by she, Jay Tyler. Tyler's dealing right now. She's, she can definitely smell victory. Yeah. 
it's funny because all of a sudden, after being in the clouds for the last inning, the sun's really popped out, and so has Jay Tyler. Yep. She's popping right now. Wow, what a pitch. Ooh, that looked good. Wow, that looked good. I would say the Yump's been a little bit inconsistent with his strike zone today yeah. at various times. Yeah, well, you Definitely know, the only thing is, is I always say I can't really tell from over here, but it looked good from where we were. And that's out of play. She's still way ahead in the count here. God, I haven't heard uh, I haven't heard the sound of the old gun on a, on a track and field match in years. <laughs> hey, that was pretty wild. And a lot of noise going on as they're running the track <laughs> next to us. That's out of, that was a nice piece. Watch out! Oh, there we go. And a guy over there who uh, wasn't looking. <coughs> Jay Tyler doing a nice job here, yep. dealing. And she's hoping to be able to get out of this one. If she does, she'll strike out the side. Pretty impressive, sixth inning. And that was way high. 22 here. Trying to get her to chase. Yeah. 2-2 two -two here. Oh, what a beautiful pitch right there. She strikes out the side. Nice job right there by Jay Tyler. And we've completed six here at Zabeck Field where the Turner's Falls Thunder have the 9-4 lead as we get into our final frame. You're listening to Frontier Community Access Television. It's Bobby C. and Chris Collins here on the FCAT. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And we're sitting here at the top of the seventh inning here at Zabeck Field with the Thunder with a very nice 9-4 lead here against Frontier. That big four run fifth inning has been the story in this one on why they're up by five runs. And the girl who's up to plate right now looking for her first hit of the day is Cassidy Wozniak, who is coming off an injury and she's just getting back into the swing of things. She is surely one of the top players on this program. And Stafford still in the ring. She is in the circle and she lets up ball one here on Wozniak. Once again, we're in the top of the seventh inning. We do play seven innings. Ooh. And it's out of play. This is my car. One ball, one strike. Not, not my car. It's my car. Oh. Poor Murph. Do you see where it hit? <laughs> oh, it just hit your bumper. Ah, You're all right. Scratch. That's nothing, man. Oh, she tried to bunt. No she very nearly bunted that right back to the catcher's yeah, pit. Yeah, she almost, she almost caught it by default. It almost like fell in there. No. So, Stafford's now ahead now. One ball, two strikes. Here on Cassidy Wozniak in the top of the seventh inning. And that's in the dirt. 
Double twos, two and two. And a beautiful hit right there by Cassidy Wozniak. She picks up her first hit of the day. It's good to see that. The kid's coming back from a lot of uh, adversity, and to see her knock one up the middle is nice. Absolutely. Now you're top of the order. Lexi Lacey will get up for her fifth time here on the day. She has not reached base at all. She struck out in the first. Fl she flew out to center field and also flew out to the shortstop twice. Wozniak takes the lead and heads back to first. Stafford deals a ball, so one ball, no strikes on Lexi Lacey. Oh and two, pass ball. Wozniak gets down to second base. That takes double play out of possibility. Yep. Call that a strike, a little bit up there on that one. Good off-speed pitch, though. Yeah. So Stafford picks up another strike here. Runner on second. Oh, nice piece. Oh, a nice piece by Lexi Lacey. Just foul. <laughs> that looked pretty close. It did. Just that close there, Eck? You can see it on the cam. <laughs> Don't tell Molly that. <laughs> oh, another hit up the middle. And Wozniak takes a turn. Throw to the plate. And she's safe. And Lexi Lacey rounds second base. She's heading for third. And they're going to still get there. <laughs> so, Lexi Lacey. All the way to third base. Knight Wozniak, good hustle from second base. And the Thunder pad their lead. Good awareness by Lacey to see that throw and take that extra bag. So she's down at third. Absolutely. And it's 10-4. Yeah. Nice job right there. And she did a nice job because she got herself to third base and with no outs. Really, this game can really get out of reach quick here. Of course, it doesn't matter now. We're in the seventh inning, so it's an open inning now. So there is, you know, you know, anything anything can roll on here where they, they will end the game, though, um, if it does go to that 10 rule, 10 run rule. Anything after the fifth inning, Chris, they, they get that 10 run rule, and that's the end of it. So if they, but if they get... Ahead by 10. Yes, yeah. they have to be ahead by 10. Which would need a little bit more work here to make that happen. And Stafford dealing up to Taylor Murphy, who has had a great game here today. How about two singles, a double? She's three for four on the day. Her only out was to the third baseman. I said that one caught the outside corner. That was a good pitch. Well, Murphy's going to have to get herself on the top of this one here. As Stafford continues to deal strikes. Oh, that was way up there. You want to call? No, I want to search. Search? Yeah. Search? Yeah. Thank you. Well, Gary Mullins wants to question something here. I don't know what he's questioning. Home run, two run, home run by Taylor Murphy. That makes it 12 to four. Wow, four for five on the day. She's still young too, Chris. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
The future only, is bright. Yeah, she's she's still got a lot of a couple years left to play some softball here. What do you want? A big run right there. This game's opened right up now, Chris. Yep. 12 4. And Jay Tyler's back up. Yeah, Jay Tyler's up. There's no outs. So here's where we are, folks. We'll reset this for you. We're in the top of the seventh inning. It is 12-4, Turner's Falls. At one time, it was a 4-4 game. Jade Tyler already has a home run on the day. Jade's been on every single time. She walked twice. She also had a base hit. And she's got a chance to continue. And it looks like we're going to have uh, another pitching change. Yep. So Stafford will. It's like you're in a walker. You want to keep talking? It's up to you. I pretty much listen for your cue. Yep. Oh, what a shot right there by Jay Tyler. She's shooting for two. And she's up. Another beautiful hit right there by Jay Tyler. She is having a game. Nice game in the circle. Also a great game at the plate. Three for three. And she's been on base all five times. She had every bit of that pitch. I mean, it was waiting on that fastball, and she just jacked it down the left field line. <laughs> oh, I had to laugh, man. I'm sorry. I... They call it a windbreaker for a reason. It literally broke for the ground on that one. <laughs> And Hawkins gets that one down low. Allie Murphy, she's back up the plate. She is looking for her first hit of the day, too. Just like Wozniak got hers, now it's her turn. Ooh! Ooh. Almost killed the third base, yeah. side, Coach. Sauls. Looks like Coach Sauls is looking to be able to have a cast to go with his other cast. Hey. I was going to say. He's a, he's a cast of characters over there at third base. What's the count? You gotta keep an eye on that guy, coach. <laughs> Taking balls off the arm. To... <laughs> yeah. That is classic. That's classic, Coach. Gary Mullins getting oh, loose. I love it. Yeah, uh, it's funny. <laughs> and Allie Murphy gets on first base here with well, four four balls by Hawkins. I'll tell you right now, though, that would have been funny though if you see someone getting smacked up over there with a the ball and you bring the catcher's gear out. That's pretty funny. What's your best files? <laughs> All right, Hawkins deals. She ends up picking up a strike here against Olivia Whittier. How about Whittier? Here's a day for her, Chris. Home run, two singles, and she walked. Solid day here for Olivia. And a home run here could end this game. Oh, big time. Because that would that would put them up 15 to four, and that would be yep, the end. That would do it. So I got runners on first and second. Olivia's really had a solid game, and we're still looking for our first out here in the seventh inning, Chris. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Murphy got half, I was halfway to second. Yeah. Realized what she was doing. She's trying to, she's trying to get Jay Teller to step it up over in front of her, I think. Ball four. And the bases are loaded bases again. Bases are loaded with no outs. For Haley Bogus. Haley Bogus, he could hit. We got her grandmother next to us, and she's like, oh boy, my granddaughter's been up in some big spots here today. And uh, 
Yes, she has. But how about this? Haley ends up with two walks, two base hits. She's been on all four times here today. Lefty hitter. Bases loaded with no outs here in the seventh inning. Nice pitch right there by Kayla Hawkins. Kayla coming off the bench to do some pitching. And that was up there high. Tell you though, Bogus has done a really nice job being able to be patient at the plate. Ah, nice little leaner there. She went down for it and hit it out of play. So Hawkins is leading in this one here. She's ahead. And Bogus with another hit. And a play to the plate. Oh, is she off the plate? She's nope. out. She's out. So they made the play over at the plate. Get that lead runner. And that'll be our first out. Fielder's choice for Haley Bogus. I'm gonna bring up one out here in the top of the seventh. And Morales is back up again. Mercedes looking for a hit here. Ended up flying out to the first baseman in the last inning. And that was inside from Kayla Hawkins. And good job right there by Mercedes. Good patience there at the plate. And a nice piece. That could be trouble. Oh, what a catch in left field. Beautiful play from Ariana Walker. But a nice tag right there from third base. That was a beautiful job right there by Ariana Walker. And I'm telling you right now, Coach Mullins is not happy because the runner at second did not tag to go to third. Walked it, did a great job to run that ball down. Oh, that was yeah, that's... fantastic. And uh, they, had, they got the tag run with Allison Murphy getting home, but Taylor didn't go anywhere. Oh, nice try again. Oh, she's gonna be all right. Ooh. Ooh, looks like she's holding her knee. Oh, man. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, she hit hard. Oh, man. Good hustle to try and get to that ball. Yeah, but. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Boy, she went down to the ground quick. I think she's still is, is she still out no, there? No, they brought Basilio. Um they brought Basilio from uh, right field over to left. And they added number 11. Oh, that could, that could be trouble. It is trouble. Yeah. And another run scores. Chloe Cutting is the player that they brought in. Yep. So Bogus ends up at third base, and Juliana Road ends up at first base. And Cassidy Wozniak, they've already gone through the whole order here, Chris. Right. They've already plated five in this inning. And this could do it. This is six. <laughs> and Cassidy Wozniak 
looking for another hit. That could be trouble. Oh, it touched the catcher. It's fair ball. Road scores on the play, and that is a base hit for Wozniak. What's the score? Two, three, four, six, seven. It's 14 to 4. 14? Yep. I don't know why I got 17. 16. You're right. You're right, 16. So it's not 10. Yeah, but I think they, they're finishing out the seventh inning. I think they get their last wraps, I guess. I thought it didn't, but. Oh, that, that thing went yeah. off at the same time the ball was <laughs> hit, man. I was like, boom! Wow, I didn't realize they made softballs with dynamite now. Look out, baby. We're making the FCAT even more enjoyable here, folks. That was quite the hit. And Lexi Lacey here. Looking to be able to pick up her second single just in this inning alone. As they've already gone through the order, Wozniak's already hit twice here in the seventh. Ooh, just missed. And Turner's Falls really took over. When this game was tied 4-4, they ended up scoring a couple of the runs that ended up scoring because of errors that were played uh, that, that ended up happening by the Thunder. But ever since then, it's been all Turner's Falls here in this one. They've definitely taken over. Oh, another nice shot right there by Lexi Lacey. Hey, hey, adjust. Come on. Adjust. Sitting at a 16-4 lead here right now. 16 to 4. Pretty solid performance here by the Thunder, especially. A lot of big offensive hitting going on. And we talked about the bottom of the order being able to come through with some hits. How about two hits for Juliana, uh, three hits for Juliana Road in the eighth spot. Cassidy Wozniak with two hits in the ninth spot. Katie Reynolds with a base hit in the seventh spot. Not a bad thing. And Hawkins having a little bit of trouble here. She's throwing a lot of pitches. But Lexi Lacey has fouled off four here at this at bat. And we got a 3-2 count here. Cassidy Wozniak is now at second base. And another foul by Lexi Lacey. She's putting out a good at bat here for sure. And a nice at bat right there by Lexi Lacey. Good discipline right there. Still two outs here in the seventh inning. It's been a while. <laughs> Sure has. And Taylor Murphy, what a night. How about a homer, a double, two singles, four for five. Make that five for six. Wow. <laughs> and Wozniak scores. Great job right there. Taylor Murphy having a game. That was just straight line drive nothing nothing fancy about that no nope, but she's definitely been solid here today so excellent game here by Taylor Murphy how can you go wrong when you're five for six and that could be trouble when it is 
Jay Tyler ends up making the final out here in the seventh inning. And right now, it is 17 to four. We go to the bottom of the seventh here at Zabeck Field. It's girls softball, Frontier and Turners here on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television. All right, we're here at the bottom of the seventh inning. Very solid performance here offensively by the Turner's Falls Thunder and some really good pitching by Jay Tyler. She really settled down here in the last three innings and she's done a wonderful job in the circle. And right now the Thunder with a 17-4 lead and Frontier is gonna get their last at wraps. And it looks like it'll be Olivia Dean, the ninth hitter, and then the top of the order. So we'll have to see what Frontier can do. Also, there was an injury to Ariana Walker, who ended up hurting her shoulder. And hopefully she is gonna be okay. We haven't heard any official word of exactly what has happened with that injury, but we will find out. First pitch from Jay Tyler to Olivia Dean is ball one. Oh man, that was a shot, wow! <laughs> that was a hard hit ball right there by Olivia Dean. Nice piece on that one. But boy, it literally bounced off of Jay Tyler right into Wozniak's glove. And they pick out, out, out number one here. I'd call that a uh, one, six, three. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely got a, the pitcher got a piece yeah, of it. Yeah, like, yeah. It was hit hard enough so that it was. It was enough time to make the play. Absolutely. All right. Natalie Denkowitz. Nat looking for another hit here. She did have a hit in the first inning. She ended up with a single, which was one of the two runs with that Charlotte Doulette homer. Jay Tyler, definitely still dealing up like you said, Chris. She seems like she's looking stronger as the game's gone on. Yeah. Nice pitch. Just on the outside. A lot of run support today for the Turner's Falls Thunder yep. and Jade Tyler, but she helped her own cause the two run homer. Yep. Oh, and they lean out. Oh, that's a, no, that got booted by Taylor Murphy. So, Matt ends up getting on here in the seventh inning. It looked like Murphy just pulled up at the last second. She had a good beat on the ball. Just yep. didn't took her off for a half second. That's all you have to do. Taylor, make the next one. And ball one. Yeah, it was in the dirt. It's good pitching right there. Yep. She's really had good placement throughout the day here, Chris. She surely has. Oh, man, that was a BB. <laughs> <laughs> that happened so fast, I didn't even get a chance to even hear it there, Murph. <laughs> that baby was a moving. I think we got one ball and two strikes. Two and two. Wow, she got her. <laughs> the shotgun again. I know it. Unreal. Well, there's two outs here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And Charlotte Doulette, who's had quite a game with a home run and a single, is up to plate with a runner on first. And her team needs a boatload as they are down 16 to 4. And that's a pop up. That might be gone for two. It's gone. Charlotte Doulette picks up her second home run of the day. Wow, a beautiful shot right there by Charlotte. But definitely, yeah. You knew, knew it had the height. The question was, did it have the distance? And it did. Wow, two home runs off of Jay Tyler in one game. That's pretty impressive, Chris. That's unusual. 
but certainly a great bit of beef piece of hitting there by yeah. Charlotte. Absolutely, Charlotte Doulette. Two home runs on the day, and also a nice hard hitting single as well that she had up the middle back in the third inning. It's definitely been a nice day for her at the plate, and also a big day at the plate for Taylor Murphy on the Turner side. Macy Ring ended up with a single her last time at bat. She's two for th uh, one for three, and she's looking to try to keep this game going. Way ahead of her. Yeah, she was way out in front of that. Oh, wicked. Boy. And Macy back in the box here. And that'll do it. And there's your final. Final score here from Zabic Field. The Turner's Falls Thunder 16 and the Frontier Lady Red Hawks 6. What'd you think, bud? A lot of fun. It was a good game. Yeah. Certainly, uh, Turner's Falls came out and had a, a, so a solid offensive performance. I think Frontier played well, but Turner's was just the better team today, and, uh, and they picked up a W, a great pitching performance, and a, a solid offensive uh, effort by the by the Thunder. And it's a, a big win in a rivalry game. It is, and I'll tell you, I think that the good thing is that we need to look out for is we need to look out for Greenfield, Frontier, and also Turner's. Those are gonna be our three big teams that we have in our area, Chris. And we got to see one of them here today on a beautiful Thursday here at Zabeck Field. A lot of fun. For my broadcast partner, Bobby C. Chris Collins, for Kevin Murphy, Alec Echo, and the rest of the FCAT crew, Sam Finch, and uh, Megan Self. The final score for the final time is Frontier loses to the Turner's Falls Thunder 16-6. Thanks for watching, and so long, Frontier Community Access Television.